Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things Canvas. I'm so excited for this video today. I'm gonna give you five tips and like need to knows if you're just starting with Canvas in five minutes. Now before we get into it, of course, if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel, I offer tons of Canvas help, tips, tricks, you name it, and I want you to be a part of them all. You can also um, subscribe to my newsletter, which is linked in the description below. Okay, let's get started now. The first Canvas tip that I would give to a new educator that is just getting their toes wet into the LMS, I would not create those fancy, beautiful home pages that everybody loves and thinks is really cool. That is a big time suck, meaning like it's going to consume you on all the things you want to do with it. If it were me, I would be paying more attention to setting up my home page as the modules page. It's easier for students to navigate anyways, and you're just going to start creating modules and start putting in content. So the second that your students click on that course card within their dashboard, all they're gonna do is then open up the modules, all of the content within the course and get started. This next tip kind of piggybacks off of the last one, which is to build content in modules. I've seen a lot of teachers, they'll go to the assignment navigation, the page navigation, all the different buttons that are on the course navigation on the left side of your course, and they build everything from there. Don't do this because then you're going to like be lost in the black hole of Canvas. I would create a module and then go up to that three dots and then I would create an assignment, a page, whatever you select, whatever you want within the module that you want to create and you're building within a module, which is essentially just a unit, a section of course content. That's just a really great way to stay organized and also not confuse yourself when you're really new to the LMS. The next tip is related to creating assignments. I personally think that the easiest assignment to create in Canvas is the student annotation assignment. This is essentially Canvas's version of, if you're familiar with what Cami is, it's essentially a PDF editor. It turns a PDF document into a basically an editable page. So you can type on it, you can draw all over it, all this fun stuff for students to engage with whatever worksheets that maybe you've created in the past. So creating a student annotation assignment is just the easiest way to get started in terms of creating assignments within Canvas. And if you're a Google user, of course, reuse that Google content and I have an entire series on Google that you should check out. But student annotation assignment across the board is probably the best thing to do. Okay, so this fourth tip is also on modules. So I love modules in Canvas if you haven't figured that out yet. But with this, you are going to, as a teacher, create a template module. It's gonna sit at the top of your modules page and you're never going to publish it. So students will never see it. And you can create shells, essentially. So a shell assignment, a shell discussion board, quiz, you name it. And they're all a template version. So there's nothing attached to them, but it has all of the like gists of directions that you need. So just kind of like a mock-up. And then it's really easy for you as the educator to make copies from this template. I also have a template within Canvas uh, Commons for educators, whether you're secondary or primary, so feel free to check those out. Those are some freebies for you. All right, so the last tip for someone who's new to Canvas, I would definitely dedicate some time into creating rubrics. Not that you have to create a lot of rubrics. I actually have like three to five rubrics that I reuse over and over again, but creating rubrics and then attaching them to assignments down the line is gonna save you time throughout the year when you're grading, because now you can just click, click, click all over that rubric within the speed grader, and you have immediate feedback also right away for your students. It's just a really big time saver and now all, you don't have to carry papers anymore, right? All you have to do is, is bring your computer everywhere and you can grade from wherever. You can even grade on your phone, which I wouldn't recommend 
because work-life balance, there's just an option. Okay, I think I did this in five minutes. So that was setting up the modules as a homepage, building within a Canvas course module, the student annotation assignment, creating a template module, and then the last one, create rubrics. All of these tips are really geared to saving you, the educator, a lot of time in trying to navigate and figure out how do I use Canvas. These are the five things that I really think that if you learn and then know these, it's going to make your first year with Canvas a lot less overwhelming. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. I just want you guys to know too that if you need further instructions on how to do these things, I've linked all of my past videos that shows a more in-depth version of each of these five tips in the description below for you. And also, if you continue to have questions about this, feel free to reach out to me on any of my social media platforms or just leave a comment below. I will definitely get back to you. I love answering your questions. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.